Hello guys, this is Alex uh, and this is for the class Introduction to Music Production and today I'm going to be showing you how to do a few edits on uh, I use Pro Tools so I'm gonna go through some of the important editing tasks we'll start with uh, trimming trimming is when you have an audio clip uh, on one of your tracks uh, for example here um, and then uh, it's very simple actually all you have to do is move your uh, cursor to the uh, beginning or the end of the clip and then you just grab it and move it you know for example here where there's all this little extra stuff and you want to remove it you just move it here um, we'll listen to it before before um, this, this is what it sounds like you know you have little noises and stuff and um, when you cut it out uh, with the trim then you can just uh, play it and it's all free of uh, noise um, another thing is uh, that we want to learn how to do is uh, separate so let's say we're here at this uh, let's say we wanna we wanna use these two these two right here um, and this one is not good and we want to take that away so what we do is we put the cursor uh, where we want it to cut and when we press control E and it separates the clip it just made a cut right there see now it's uh, all nice and cut um, another thing that we're gonna learn um, is how to crossfade crossfade is pretty simple in Pro Tools, uh, you put the two clips that you're gonna uh, have the crossfade um, like this, and you know what happens is when when you don't have a crossfade and there's a little clip here, uh, there's a little line. You'll be able to hear when when you play it. You'll be able to hear the little clip, and so what you do um, here on uh, Pro Tool is, you, if you notice how this little cursor turns into uh, like a little shaded uh, square. It means that you can start the uh, fade right there, uh, and all you do is you do this, and the the fade gets done um, automatically. And and I could have done it uh, bigger or smaller, but uh, smaller is always better. Um, only it sounds a little bit uh, more natural uh, when you play, and you won't even notice. Now what we're gonna learn too is how to merge or consolidate clips. And that's very uh, simple. All you do is um, you uh, mark all the different, uh, with your mouse, uh, all the different clips you're going to put together. Uh, you go into uh, uh, Edit here in uh, Pro Tools. And then you go uh, down to uh, Consolidate Clip. clip. Uh, you go to Consolidate cl Clip and then you press it. And there it was. It just consolidated the whole clip, and we have a new clip here, and it's all together in one piece. Um, the other thing we're gonna learn here is uh, how to work with the grid. Sometimes the grid is uh, too small or too 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 little. If you wanna get it deep in there, you can't do it unless you uh, make it bigger. And it's very simple too. Here, uh, there's uh, on this corner right here. There's a minus and a plus, and if you want to make it big, you can just click on the plus, and it'll zoom in uh, into the clip. If you want to make it smaller, you just click the minus, and it makes it smaller. Uh, you could also use these uh, preset uh, numbers here. Uh, one makes it small, then you can do two. You can make it bigger and bigger and bigger and even bigger, and um, you can actually save this um, if you wanted to. You could uh, go in there and uh, see here, you can see the wave. Um, it's so big in there. Um, but if you wanted to, uh, you could save, uh, you could put it somewhere where you like and you can actually save it to that number. So then you can always go back to the, how you like it or how you like to edit. So markers is pretty simple. Let's say that you uh, want to come back to this area right here. Uh, easily because you have stuff in there that you would just want to hit that point and then record from there or, or edit or whatever you're doing or mix um, you just put the cursor there and then you go in, over here and there's a little X and then you just press it and then it shows you the location number one 
all you have to do is name it. You can name it, uh, let's say we name it Chorus. So we'll name it Chorus. We'll say OK. And there's your marker right there. And you can go to it any anytime you want and, and you get uh, a nice yellow uh, dot there and no way you can uh, miss it. And there's also a transport that you can use to go right to that spot whenever you want to. And so I think uh, Zoom, we have already covered. Uh, Zoom is when you just go in and, in and out of it. I mean, I, I think it was included. And here's a, uh, another little tool that you can use to zoom out. Uh, this is the little, uh, you know, zoom in tool. And you can just click on anything and you can zoom, zoom, zoom all you want. Uh, if you want to uh, step out, you press Alt, and then you click on it, and, and then it comes out of Zoom. Now, um, now for name and, and color, uh, what you do for uh, name is you go right here into the uh, track information. It says track name, and so what you do is you double click on that, and you name this uh, whatever you want to call it. I'm going to call it vocal uh, track. And so I say okay and then it's usually better to do it before you actually record because then uh, when you record new stuff uh, the name here will appear as vocal track and it's a better way of keeping track of your files uh, right now all it did is record uh, put a vocal track right here but this one uh, won't have the name unless I start recording again if I um, if I do that for example let's record another uh, another little piece in here or something um, and then we can see what it does uh, let's see so there we're recording over uh, and look at that it says vocal track see we recorded a little part just to see what he said um, and so that's how you do that so to change the um, color of the clip is very simple uh, you actually just go to window here uh, you uh, pick color palette uh, this is the color palette right here um, Then you just choose whatever you want to change because you can actually change this area You can change the color of, of your track uh, in this case. We're just gonna highlight this uh, We're gonna cl click uh, on the red here and look how it gets changed automatically and That's how you do it very simple